Hello aspirants, in exams like RRB, NTPC and SSC, basic statistics topics include mean, median, mode, range, variance, standard deviation and mean deviation. Let's see what is mean. Mean is defined as sum of all observations divided by number of observations. Let's solve an example related to that from previous year's papers. For the given data, Two point seven, five point three, seven point six, nine point five, and fifteen point four. We have to calculate the mean. We know that the formula of mean is sum of all values by number of values. Let's calculate how many values they have given. It's one, two, three, four, five. So the number of values are five. And now we have to calculate the sum of those five values given in the sum. So the total of 2.7, 5.3, 7.6, 9.5 and 15.4 is 40.5. Now we have to divide 40.5 with 5 and the final answer is 8.1. So the solution is 8.1 which is the mean of the given data. Let's solve another example. The given data is 36, 53, 50, 43, 57, 50, 40, 35, 39 and 34. And for this problem, we have to calculate mean now. We know that the formula of mean is sum of observations by number of observations. It is clearly visible that the number of observations are 10. And we have to calculate the sum now. And the sum of the above data is 437. So the final answer is 43.7 which is the mean. Sometimes they will ask questions in exams like we have to calculate the mean of first five triangular numbers. It means the data is not directly given. You have to understand it clearly and then you have to solve it. Let's see it. First five triangular numbers are 1, 3, 6, 10, and 15. It's like 1 and for 3 it is like this and for 6 it is like this and for 10 it is like this And for 15, it is like Now that we have the values, it is so simple to calculate the mean. So according to our formula, mean equal to 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 plus 15 by 5. The sum of the values is equal to 35. The number of values 5. So the solution is 7. Let's solve some examples which they can ask indirectly without directly giving the values. And the questions will be like Let's calculate the mean of first 10 prime numbers. The first 10 prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23 and 29. Let's calculate the mean. By adding all those numbers, we will get 129 as the sum 
and the number of observations are 10. So the final answer is 12.9. The median is the middle value of an arranged sorted data set. It divides the data into two equal halves. If n is odd, then median is equal to middle term. In the same way, if the n is even, the median is equal to n by second term plus n by 2 plus 1 term divided by 2. Calculate median of Two, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, and forty-eight. We know that there are two formulas relating to that. So we have to calculate whether if the n is odd or n is even. Here the number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it is even. So we have to take n by second term plus n by second plus 1 term. In this data there are these two numbers. So the median equal to 20 plus 20 divided by 2 which is equal to 20. Sometimes they will give questions arranging the data in irregular way. So we have to first arrange it in ascending or descending way and, and then we have to find median of that given data. Let's take an example similar to that. Let the data be 25, 18, 20, 16, 8, 10, 15, 20, 13 and 30. Let's arrange the given data in ascending order. If you arrange the data in ascending order, it will be like 8, 10, 13, 15, 16, 18, 20, 20, 25, and 30. The number of observations are even. So, according to our formula, we have to take the n by second term plus n by 2 plus 1 term. They are 16 and 18 here. So, median is equal to 16 plus 18 divided by 2, which is equal to 34 by 2. And the answer is 17. Let's see an example if n is odd. Let the given data be 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66 and 67. The number of observations here are 7. So 7 is odd. So according to the formula median is equal to mid observation in the given data the mid observation is 64 so median is equal to 64 and the next topic is range range is defined as the difference between maximum and minimum value let the given data be 13, 15, 11, 19, 15, 21, 12 and 13. We know that range is the difference between maximum and minimum values. In the given data, the maximum value is 21 and the minimum value is 11. So, range is equal to 21 minus 11 which is equal to 10. So, 10 is our answer. Mode is defined as the frequently occurring observation in the given data. Let's take the given data be 2, 3, 3, 
ఫైవ్ సెవెన్ త్రీ సిక్స్ నైన్ అబ్జర్వ్ ద డేటా కేర్ఫుల్లీ హియర్ ది అబ్జర్వేషన్ దట్ ఈస్ రిపీటెడ్ ఫ్రీక్వెంట్లీ ఈజ్ త్రీ సో ద మోడ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు త్రీ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద మోస్ట్ రిపీటెడ్ అబ్జర్వేషన్ ఇన్ ద డేటా దర్ ఈస్ వన్ మోర్ ఫార్ములా ఫర్ మోడ్ విచ్ ఈస్ మోడ్ ఈక్వల్ టు త్రీ ఇంటూ మీడియన్ మైనస్ టూ ఇంటూ మీన్ For example, in the question, if they given median is equal to 2 and mean is equal to 1 and by this formula we have to find mode. So, mode is equal to 3 into here the given median is 2 and mean value is 1. So, 3 into 2 which is equal to 6 and 2 into 1 which is equal to 2. So, 6 minus 2 is 4. So, our mode value is 4 here. In exam, you can expect this type of questions or this type of questions. Let's solve a problem on mean deviation. Let the given values be 8, 11, 10, 4, 6, 9 and 8. The formula for mean deviation is this one. First, we have to calculate mean x bar. x bar which is equal to sum of observations by number of observations. Here, the sum of observations is 8 plus 11 plus 10 plus 4 plus 6 plus 9 plus 8 which is equal to 56 and the total number of observations n is equal to 7. By this we can get the mean value 8. Now we have to find mean deviation. Mean deviation equal to. Now we have to subtract each observation given in the question with the derived mean. Eight minus eight plus eight minus eleven plus 8 minus 10 plus 8 minus 4 plus 8 minus 6 plus 8 minus 9 plus 8 minus 8 divided by number of observations which is 8 and let's calculate this. 0. Here the negative values will also become positive within this. 0 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 divided by 8. The final value is 12 divided by 7. By dividing this, we get 1.71, which is our mean deviation value. Let's solve variance of the given data. Given data is 36, 28, 45 and 51. This is the formula for solving the problems on variance. First, we have to calculate mean 36 plus 28 plus 45 plus 51 divided by 4, which is equal to 160 and number of observations 4 and the mean is 40. Now, we have to calculate variance. Variance is denoted as sigma square and the uh, and with the above obtained mean value we have to substitute the values in the given formula. 40 minus 36 whole square plus plus 40 minus 
28 होल स्क्वायर प्लस 40 माइनस फोर्टी होल स्क्वायर प्लस 40 माइनस फिफ्टी होल स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशंस बाय कैलकुलेटिंग दिस विल गेट 4 स्क्वायर प्लस 12 स्क्वायर प्लस 5 स्क्वायर प्लस 11 स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय 4 बाय कैलकुलेटिंग दिस वैल्यूज विल गेट 306 divided by 4 and the answer is 76.5 so the variance of the above data is 76.5 standard deviation is equal to the square root of variance given standard deviation equal to 34 and we have to find variance we know that standard deviation is equal to square root of variance so we have to substitute the above values 34 equal to square root of v and v becomes 34 whole square 34 square is 1156 